All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about operators. All right. So let's say we want to add two numbers. How are we going to do this? Same thing that we would do in life, you know, just to add two numbers. We use the plus sign, right? It's the same thing as programming. Okay. So we're going to say uh, something like this. We're going to say two plus two. All right. And that's going to return back the total of four. Okay. Let's say we wanted to do. Uh, for example, um, let's say 4 minus 2, okay, then that's going to be, as you guys can see, the number 2, all right? Now, same thing, if we come here, we do, hey, I want to multiply 3 times 4, okay, it takes a little while because you got to think about it. You got to compile everything and interpret everything. So, hey, we're doing this on the browser, right? So, it takes a little bit longer. So, it's 3 times 4 is 12, all right? Then from there, if we want to divide, we could just say like this, uh, something like 12 divided by 4, and that's going to equal to 3. And one thing that you're going to see is we got 3.0, which is a float, okay? Anything with a decimal, that's a float, all right? So, another thing that we're going to go into, we're going to say, hey, if I wanted to uh, basically come in, do division, but you want to say, give me the floor number, you could say 12 divided by 4 is 3, but if we say something like, let's say 15 divided by 4, it's going to say 3, okay? So, now, if we want to do a modulus, all right, so let's say we got 20 modulus uh, 3, okay, you see the number 2, all right? Now, let's talk about other operators, okay? Right now, this is what I call the math operators, right? This is my way of calling it, you know, people call it arithmetic, what is it? I believe it's arithmetic, um, operators but i just call it math okay <laughs> now this operators you can also use it with variables so you could literally come here and say something like this you could say uh a equals to four and then you could say b equals to uh let's say three and then you could say c equals to a times b and then you come here and it will basically print out the total. You say, hey, we'll see. And automatically you will get the answer. It takes a little while. I don't know why it takes so long. But as you can see, pretty much it's like, hey, C equals to 12. All right. So if you print it out, that's what it shows you. All right. We run this one more time. And as you can see, 12. There you go. All right. So, the next thing that we're going to talk about is other operators, all right? Other operators that we use for relational situations, okay? So, let's say right now I wanted to check if uh, the number 4 is greater than the number 3, okay? I will say it like that. Just like regular math, guys. I know you remember this from, like, junior high school or elementary school, like, it's very simple. You're just doing it with programming, all right? So as you can see, a is, well, 4 is greater than 3, all right? So A basically equals to true, all right? If we come in and we do it the opposite way, we say it's 4 less than 3, then it's going to tell you, hey, this is false. Now, I know you've seen this where we say A equals to, to 3, all right? And this is what we call assigning a variable all right when you see that one equal sign but when you see two equal signs is to check if it's equal to the same thing all right so we're going to do this we're going to say b we're assigning it uh the number five okay and if we come here and we say print a equals to to b all right so all we're saying is, is the number A 
Okay, well, the variable A equal to the variable B. Is it the same number? Is it the same words? Is it the same letters? All right, we're going to check this out and it says it's false. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All right, now you got other ones where you say, hey, is this not equal to? Okay, so you come here and you say, is A not equal to B? Right, is it the same? Right, so you're saying, hey, is A not the same as B? And that's going to return true. Okay. And the reason why it's returning true is because it's like, hey, man, A is not B. Okay. So it is true. All right. Now, the next thing that we can also do is uh, basically check if it's greater than or equal to. So we could come here and say something like this. Let's say uh, greater than or equal to to B. Okay. It says it's false. Now we're going to do the opposite and we're going to say is the variable a less than or equal to B. And it's going to say it's true. Now, if B was three, it will also say true because it's equal to the same thing. So you're basically saying, hey, is this less than or equal to it? And they're both the same thing. So it's like, OK, A and B is both three. So that's true. Now, if it was less than, it will also be true. OK, same thing with greater than if I come here and I say A is greater than or equal to B is going to say, hey, it's true. All right. Now, another one that we want to check out is basically logical operators. OK, and I usually use this for situations when I'm doing like if statements. So I would usually do something like this where I would say this I will say a a plus B okay a plus B right okay something like this a plus B greater than than B okay and then I will say and uh, let's say a I'm going to put this in the parentheses. I'm going to say A is actually equal to, to B. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, if this statement here is true, okay, and this statement here is true, then the value itself is going to return back true. Okay. So I'm going to run this. And as you can see, it says true. All right. And that's because a plus B is six and then six is greater than B. Okay. So that's a true statement right here. And then you come here and you say is uh, a equal to B. And then that's also a true statement. All right. Now, just to make it easier for you guys, I'm going to put this here in a comment. All right. So when you do the hashtag that basically writes a comment. So you basically, Whatever you write inside of the line, it doesn't run in the code. OK, so you can put a little comments for documentation or like a comment you want to leave for another developer. So for you guys, I'm going to explain this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to say, you know, if this is true and this is true. OK, then it returns to true. OK, now if I come here. And I'll say like this, I'm going to kind of copy this, right? I'm going to say true and false, all right? If true and false, then this is going to be false, okay? Now, if I come here and I say false and false, then this is going to be false, okay? Now, let's talk about the or. All right, so we're going to come here and I'm going to change this up. I'm going to put or. All right, so we're going to say. OK, so if a plus B, which is six, is greater than B or a equals to B, then it's going to say true. OK, so we're going to come here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just add this for you guys to to have 
you know, for future references, we're going to say end. Uh, this one's going to be for the or. All right. And we're going to say if this is true or this is true, then this is going to be true. Okay. Now, if we say if this is true or this is false, all right then it's going to be true. Now, if this is false and this is false, then this is false. Okay. All right. So the next one, you know, is basically not. All right. So you can actually use not whenever uh, either one is, is not true. And that's going to return back a true statement. So we're going to come here and say not. Now, let's look at a good situation where you will use the not. So let's say, for example, we're going to change uh, B to actually equal to seven. And then we're going to say something like this. We're going to say C equals to uh, A greater than B. Okay. And automatically C is going to be, as you guys can see, uh, let this load false statement. All right. So what we want to do is to check if it's not uh, true, if it's not a true statement, then I want to be able to return back true. So I'm going to say C, we're going to come here. We're going to say not C. Okay. So what you're saying is, uh, this C variable is actually false. And because it's false, when you use not, it's going to actually turn back true. Okay. Now, if you want to say something like this, we flip it up and we say, okay, A is less than B, which is three is less than seven. Then when you say not C, it means, hey, this is not true. So, basically is going to say it's false. Okay. It's going to return back false. All right. Uh, the not, I don't really use it that much. I use it in, in different ways, but I don't really use it like this with the not. <laughs> I, I usually find better ways to actually uh, do this, but yeah, let's move on to the next uh, operators, which are assignment. Okay. Right now we've been using this type of assignment, right? We basically saying, Hey, a, the variable a, we're assigning it the number three. Okay. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to come here and say a is equals to a plus uh, a plus three. Let's say, for example, right? So now I'm reassigning it one more time. So at first I say the letter a is equal to three, and then I'm saying uh, letter a is going to be a plus three, which is going to be six. Okay. So if we print this out, we say print. Uh, so we're going to say print a, and we're going to come here. As you can see, it's going to say six. Now, instead of us assigning it like that, how about we come here and make it shorter, right? And make it nice and sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say a plus equals three. So what it's saying is a is equal to a plus three. So this is the same thing that we had before. And as you can see, it returns back six. All right. Now we could also do the same thing with other operators. Instead of the plus, we're going to say a minus three. So the new a is equal to a equals to a minus three. So that's zero. We can also come here and say, uh, multiplication and actually come in and says, Hey, the new variable of a is equal to nine. Uh, we can also come here and say division. And as you can see, it's going to say 1.0. We come here and put in floor. And as you can see, it says one, we can also come here and put in modulus. Okay. Okay, it says zero. All right. Now I almost forgot to tell you guys about exponents. So let's say I wanted to do three to the power of three. 
So I could come here and say like that and basically comment that out for a second so you guys can see that's actually equal to 27. Now, if I want to do it with an assignment, I could literally say like this, um, let's say A equals to three. And then I say, I'm saying the new value of A is the A to the power of three. And we run that. And as you can see, it's 27. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Those are the beginning operators that I feel like you guys need to know at first for Python. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is back in Aden. Did it again. I'll see you guys later.